you might scratch your head when you hear the phrase baptism of the Holy Spirit. You might go, well, wait a second. Is that different from water baptism? Is the baptism of the Holy Spirit even biblical? Do I believe that as a Christian? And before we jump into what the baptism of the Holy Spirit is, let's, let's take a quick look at where it shows up in Scripture. Jesus is the first one to introduce this idea of baptism of the Holy Spirit. At the beginning of the book of Acts, Jesus appears to his disciples and prophesies in Acts chapter 1, verse 5, You've heard from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. And indeed, as we follow along the narrative of Acts, we read about how many new converts received the promised baptism of the Holy Spirit as the gospel spreads like wildfire. Then later, as churches are established, Paul includes this language of baptism of the Holy Spirit when talking about spiritual gifts and the body of Christ. In 1 Corinthians 12, verse 13, he states, For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body. And again, in Ephesians 4, verse 5, there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father over all. So if the concept of baptism of the Holy Spirit is biblical, what exactly is the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Well, the word baptism simply means immersion, and in using this language, the biblical authors want us to think of the baptism of the Holy Spirit as a, kind of like a word picture. The picture of water baptism is clear based on passages like 1 Peter 3 and Romans 6, verses 1 to 4. When we are submerged down into the water, we are identifying with the death of Christ, saying that our, our old self dies. But just like Jesus didn't stay in the grave, we don't stay in the water, we come out to walk in the newness of life that Jesus offers us through the power of his own resurrection. So both water baptism and baptism of the Holy Spirit communicate this idea of union. In the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we are being submerged and united to Christ and his body. This is a spiritual baptism. Water is not able to do this. So we could say that the baptism of the Holy Spirit can be defined as the Holy Spirit placing every believer into union with Christ and union with the body of Christ at the moment of salvation. And the baptism of the Holy Spirit is such a glorious and precious gift. Not only does the Spirit bestow us with spiritual gifts for the edification of the church, but through the baptism of the Spirit, we are all personally, permanently, and purposefully incorporated into the body life with other believers.